been 20 years. Why can't they just accept the fact that she's gone? Previously on the fifth floor. Hi, Ma. I just saw the news about a missing girl in Bishan. Do you guys know about it? The police still have no lead, so they are asking the public for help. Ma isn't up to his usual nonsense, right? Ma, where is he now? Some people say maybe she took money from loan shark, cannot pay back, so they took her daughter. I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong, I didn't mean that you should forget about her or anything. We could never forget her. What about your other daughter and your wife? Remember us? Well, one of us had to keep looking. So maybe needs you at two and I don't. Why do you keep doing this, Ba? You're just making Ma more upset. I'm doing this for the family. I really thought you were ready to let it go. I want to. Believe me. You're not supposed to be doing that. What's your problem? Go away. Does your mother know you smoke? Why? Are you going to tell her? May! May! Excuse me, my daughter is missing. She's about this tall, long hair. Have you seen her? No. Yeah. Ming, 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 Ming. I can't find me anywhere. What will we do? We haven't looked there yet. Over there? Let's go and look. Oh, OK. Come, come. Come on. Come, come, come. I knew it. She's alive. Nothing. Anyway, it's all going to charity, right? <laughs> nah, it's for your parents, I understand. I'm just so excited. They're moving in so soon. I know, babe. Oh, can I have the keys that you made? I got them. This. Oh, wow. They're really <laughs> cute. Anyway, look, um, about the keys, I'll do them later, okay? You said you get them done this morning. I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. I'll just go do it now, okay? Look, hey, look, no. Look, don't worry. I promise I'll get them done later, okay? Everything's gonna work out. All right? All right. Are you hungry? I am starving. Let's eat. Thank you, huh? Thank you. Now, Nick, over here, all the stalls are good. Oh, except for that chicken rice stall over there. We're boycotting the owner because he was rude to an elderly customer. Not let him get away with that, right? Hey, Mingting! Hello! This is I mean Nancy. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, do you remember Nick? Hello, Uncle Ming. Sorry, I don't remember you. Nick used to live here a long time ago with his mother. Remember Mrs. Yo? Oh, it's been... Almost 20 years. Anyway, Mrs. Yeo passed away recently, so Nick decided to move back here from Malaysia. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. In Malaysia, Nick joined a police force, but over here he's a private investigator. 
It's like having our own Magnum PI. <laughs> hey, Nick, what time is it? Uh? Oh, 9.15? I'm going to be late for my grassroots leaders meeting. You come by my office later, I introduce you to everyone. Bye, Nick. Bye, Nick. Bye. Nice to see you again, Uncle Ming. Nick? Do you have some time? Besides the similar handwriting, how can we be sure that this is from me? You, know, you can check for fingerprints and then have it compared to a sample of hers. I'm not sure if we still have anything of hers which may have her prints on it. Did she have a passport before she went missing? Yes, we went to Malacca for a holiday. Then there will be a record of a prince. Can you help me with this? It'll cost a bit of money. It won't be just my time and effort. How much? A couple of thousand. Look, Uncle Ming, I know it's a bit expensive, but that's my rate. Maybe you can find somebody to help you for cheaper. How about if I paid you in installments or something? <sighs> Sorry, I'm coming. I'm a bit busy with the cases I already have right now. Thanks for your time anyway. That boy was nothing but trouble. Maybe it's not because of money that he doesn't want to help us. What do you mean? His mother moved him away shortly after May went missing. Maybe we should be asking him if he had anything to do with it. They were friends, weren't they? You're a bit too friendly, if you ask me. Careful! Hey! So where's your sister? Over there. Here. That's really cool. Me Wong. What do you think you're doing? You stay away from her. Does your mother know you smoke? Why? I'm going to tell her. I'm going to the shops. Come with me. Why? Accompany me. Can't do anything by yourself. Is it because you're a twin? You need someone else for everything? No, and you don't have to be so mean. Is there something wrong with you today? Why does everyone think there's something wrong with me? Just leave me alone. Fine. I thought we were friends. I really can't tomorrow. I'm sorry. Yeah, good luck finding someone else. Okay, bye. What was that about? Ah, uh, Brian. He wanted me to cover some event tomorrow, but it's our anniversary dinner, and I've been looking forward to it all week. Me too. Mm. Shall we order in? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so what was the event? Um, some Vikram Chandran event. Uh, tomorrow's the official opening of a women's shelter he helped to build. Wow. Man's a saint. Must be why he's leading in the polls. You know, covering that event will look really great on your profile. I know. But there'll be other events. Our anniversary is special. True, but you know, we can always have an even bigger celebration the next night. Are you saying I should take the job? I'm just thinking about you and your career. I know how important it is to you. Brian did say I would be missing out on a good chance to network. That settles it then. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. 
We can have a romantic dinner the next time. How did I get so lucky? I'm the lucky one. Hello, Andy. Why did you and your mom move away so soon after May went missing? Siu Leng? Answer me. Mm, my mom thought it would be better for me if we moved to a small town in Malaysia. What a change of heart. I saw May that day. She asked me to follow her to the shop. That was the same day my mom told me we were moving. I was angry. I should have gone with her. If I did, maybe. What matters now is that you're helping us. You found the passport? Yes. I try to ask a friend to see if he can help with identifying the fingerprints. It'd be a huge favor, but he owes me. How do I look? Hmm? No, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Something's missing. Happy anniversary. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. It even goes with the outfit. But isn't it too dressy for work? Dressy? No. It's an important event. And now, you'll think of me every time you look at it. <laughs> I have to say, this is one of your best presents yet. Thank you for being so understanding about love. One of the biggest responsibilities of leadership is to lead by example. I was constantly reminded of this by my late wife, Sunita. Don't just Talk to talk, she used to say. You have to walk it as well. Now, it's my hope to inspire at least one of you. Okay, maybe more than just one person. Huh? I'm not asking everyone to try and change the world overnight. But let's start with our homes tonight. Let's do what we can to make Singapore a better and kinder place. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare the opening of the Sunita Chandran Home for Women. Congratulations, sir. Your speech was inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Why don't you take a break, huh? Help yourself some drinks. I'm sorry, sir. Is it bothering you? Oh, no. Not at all. No. Okay. I'm Su Wong. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I gave my wife the same exact wash for her birthday. Years ago. My fiancé just gave it to me as an anniversary gift. He obviously has excellent taste. I'm sorry to hear about your wife, sir. It sounds like she was a very wise woman. She was. I can't believe you're the same as I watch as her. You know, she loved it, you know. She used to say it dresses up her hand. I actually thought it might be too dressy for today's event, but Ed, uh, that's my fiancé. He insisted that I wear it. I'm glad he did. It was nice meeting you, Miss Wong. You too, sir. Now excuse me while I go thank the donors who helped pay for this place. For the hundredth time. <laughs> Take care. Mr. Chandran. Yes, Miss Wong. Tell your photographer to shoot you from your left side more. Especially during speeches. It makes you look... virtuous. 
Well, that never hurts. Take care. The fingerprints match. You sure? May's fingerprints are on this? Yes. Where do we go from here? We should ask your neighbours. See if anyone saw the person who left the note at the door. Someone may have seen May. Pa? Ma? Oh, uh, what's going on? You remember Nick? He's moved back to his parents' flat. Naughty Nick. Hi, Sue. It's been a long time. Hi. I'm Ed, Sue's fiancé. Nick. What's that? We got no from May. What are you talking about? How do you know this isn't just some sick prank? May help us to identify the fingerprints on the note. It matches May's fingerprints. Can we talk about this? Just family? Sure. I'll see you out. Why are you doing this again? This isn't like those other times. We actually have proof now. What's his story anyway? He's been gone so long and now he's back and this note just shows up? What are you trying to say? Ma, you always thought Nick had something to do with May's disappearance. Oh, he explained everything. The timing was just a coincidence. I believe he has nothing to do with what happened. Or maybe you just want to believe so badly that May is still coming home that you can't see anything past that. We can't just ignore this. I wanted you guys coming to live with me to be a fresh start. Now you're just going to bring the past with you. What? If we move in with you, May would not know where to find us. <laughs> I'm done. Please understand, this is your sister we're talking about. It's always about her! It's been about her for 20 years! I don't want to be a part of this anymore. But I hope one day you'll accept the fact that she's gone! Sue. No! No. I just wish for once you would put me first. Let's just go home. Why did you get involved in my family's affairs? Look, I didn't mean to stir anything up. Your father asked me for help when he found out I was a private investigator. So this is about making money? I'm not charging them anything. How lucky we are then that you've come meddling into our lives for free. Oh, come on, let's go. It's not his fault. No, he's the one giving them false hopes. Don't you want to know what happened to your sister? Don't you dare talk to me about my sister. You have no idea what my life has been like all these years. That's enough. I'm sorry. You need to calm down. No, I don't. I have every right to be pissed off right now. It's not the end of the world if your parents want to stay where they are, is it? Of all people, you should know it's not just about that. Look, I just 
just want to be alone right now. I'm sorry. I deserve to be punished. This guy, Johan. When you spoke to him, he said he had been watching football with me this bit. No, 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 I need your help. I, I'm just a photographer. Terence Dong is the one who destroyed our lives. Terence Dong? The CEO of Kids Foundation? I guess this means I'm forgiven. By the way, where'd you go last night? <laughs> 